Mikulich. Welcome back, friends. This week's issue of Sports Illustrated will feature an article on the surprise Big Ten Conference and the surprise 14-2 fighting Illini. But the article comes just in time to see if it's a 15-win team in Champaign. That's just one win off their total win count from last season. The Michigan Wolverines in town just 10 days after knocking off the Illini in Ann Arbor. John Beeline and Bruce Weber head-to-head, -head, and the Illini down a digit with 4.15 left in the first half. And this looks like a broken play for Michigan, but it's not. Laval Lucas Perry drops two in the can. He had seven points, UM by three. And here come the Illini a few ticks later. Mike Davis, the decoy in the paint, will swing across court for Demetri McKamey. He gets behind the line, gets the triple to fall. We're locked at 26 apiece, folks. And on their next possession, more from McKamey. One on one at the tip of the elbow. He spots up, buries a long two ball. McKamey had 17, 15 of the, those points in the first half. The Illini take a 31 30 lead into the locker room. And when they come out, it's lights out. It started getting fun at the 12 minute mark. Calvin Brock with some quality minutes tonight gets left open baseline and this is a triple for Brock. He finished with eight points along the way and then it turns in to the Mike Tisdale show. Inside seven minutes to play off the Trent Meacham miss from behind the arc. We'll talk about being in the right place at the right time. Drops right into his hands. He lays it off the backboard for the putback. Illini up nine and then with about six minutes to play, mono e mono is Tisdale with Deshaun Sims in the low post. Now I see an elbow here but the refs don't and I guess that's all that really matters. The lead's still at nine for Illinois, and this is program win number 1,600 for the U of I. 66-51 as they improve to 15-3. and three. Mike Tisdale, 24 points to lead all scores, and that was all part of the master plan. Uh, Coach talked in the halftime about getting inside, and uh, obviously Dimitri and the rest of our guards did a good job, uh, you know, using my height, throwing it up high, and, uh, you know, let me catch it and finish it. So uh, I got to credit that to the guards. You know, once they started going inside, um, you know, they were throwing it up over top, and I think I realized that the, the zone would work with the, the smaller guy down low. And so, uh, you know, after that, I think they realized that, uh, you know, I had to, uh, to bring the big guy down. I said this before, like, when my team's struggling, I'm going to look to score. And if not, I told Tiz in the locker room, let's second half, let's get you the ball, big fella. The tallest player, 6'6", six, 7'0", six, foot. come on. Let, I'm going to get you the ball, so just finish. It's a pretty good game plan if it gets you 24 points every time out. Trent Meacham followed up his 21-point performance against Indiana with 11 points, 5 rebounds tonight. The Illini put up just three players in double figures, but... They continue to shoot right around 50% as a team, which means they're taking smart shots. Program win number 1600, which makes the U of I the 13th winningest program in all of college basketball. 